the, that's the thing. Why are we having issues with the trap service on the tournament realm? Where's Bader? Aaron! Okay. Which well, team is on which side? Yeah. Okay. Scoots? DG Kay. Scoots is Team API. Okay. Cool. Got it. Awesome. Great. DG totally means Team API. Yeah. Yeah, that makes total sense. But <coughs> then again, it's good because they actually followed the setup. So Team 1 will be way bigger. Of course, that's Enders, Dristo88, The Business, Kasinki, and Huge Deuce. Team 2 is going to be <laughs> Team API. Dude, drop a dead. Did you just deuce. say that? <laughs> Huge Deuce, dude. That is what his name is. But you said it so explosively. <laughs> Why, man? You got to put emphasis where it matters. <laughs> but DG Scoots, DG ZSTA, 2K7, ROTB Plague, Dejixel, and Atomisk. Atomisk. Atomisk sounds familiar. Atomisk K, maybe? Thomas K. Atomisk K. Thomas K. I don't know. If we Adam say is K. Adam is killer. <laughs> yes, sir. You are right. Eat some oranges and be K. Yeah. I have no idea. Could do that. So that guy's a boss. Thanks, Barbosa. Thank you, Barbosa. You're such a boss. Sexy yes, beast with that bandana on his head. Doing Look all that. the production work with Marizzo over there. Two-man operation, man. rivaling the big companies. Monsters. And, you know, they were doing the – I mean, we had Barbosa doing the Gear 3 commentary yesterday, and I'm like, this guy looks like he belongs in Gear 3. Seriously, he's built like a truck. Oh, there's Kiyoshi. <laughs> he's in chat. <laughs> like, he's, he's the kind of guy I picture running around with a chainsaw machine gun or whatever the hell it is, like tearing people limb from limb. Oh, yeah. Uh, was it like Vibroblade or something? Nope, yeah, not Vibroblade. Vibroblade. I have no idea. How do you get images in this chat? I know you can do it somehow. You can do Salty and, like, uh, what? They, they've got the Warhammer 40K symbols in there now, too. I've got people in my chat who keep doing that. I'm going to do a shameless shout-out, guys. If you like Bloodline Champions at all, it's an arena-based game. I know you guys have heard of it, most likely. But I do commentary for that full-time on my stream Monday through Friday uh, in the evenings. So that's twitch.tv forward slash Semler the Riot. Yeah, he's a baller, man. This guy, Premier Bloodline Champions, always promoting the hell out of it. Plays League of Legends Wherever with me. I can. You know, even play Han with I me now and then, too. Han? Yeah. Dude, I'm like, Han has seriously grown on me. Since I picked that game up, I have really begun to enjoy it. League, uh, of, Legends, salty. League of Legends, I've been playing since beta on and off. Really, when Bloodline Champions came out, that kind of took over for me. But um, still enjoying, you know, all the MOBA genres, the different MOBA genres. Yeah, it's all the same. There. Okay, Bader says we're good. We're good to go. We got everybody. Check it out. Five and five. Whatever they want to so start. so beautiful, but we're going to be getting into this game shortly. Ladies and gents, such a pleasure to be here. My name is Semler. I'm of course, you know, we yeah. got four chord Jester here, and this is the Devastation League of Legends tournament hosted by Beyond Gaming. And no prize money to say, but we do have these beautiful prizes here for the team. <laughs> so guys getting hype over there. And, hey, that's the guy who no, was, That was the same that's guy. That's the same guy who should have been <laughs> doing the commentary. Seriously, that guy's beast. I wanted to ask him. But he's sure literally beast. He here. looks like yeah. he's like seven feet tall. Woo. All right. We got the game. All right. Yeah, we got the game. Draft mode. I don't want you to show me these tips again. Thank you. <laughs> Quit spectating. BBP.net. <laughs> so tournament round. We do got the full spectator support. Whose computer are we on? Mine. Ron Semler, all right. right. So Semler commentator right. one, son. <laughs> yeah, commentator one, going to be your camera. That's going to be Semler the right. Send all complaints to him. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get this Send done. Send all so complaints to me. There will be no complaints. What are you talking about? Uh, well, it's going to be magical. Them, Tears will be, will be streaming fine. down their eyes, you know, their faces. <laughs> They're just not going to be able to contain themselves. All right, now remember, we're not playing Summoner's Rift. We are playing Dominion. So you got to yep. keep that separate weight of champions in your mind. And off the bat, you see a Ramus ban. And Ramus, of course, it's like the fastest champion in here. Gets those boots of mobility, that ghost run in the power ball. And good luck. You're not yeah, catching him. Agree with you completely, I've him. seen people stack five Phantom Dancers. It's just like, ugh. Take over the map. I love this, man, though. Dominion, it is still ground that has not been covered. You know, we, have, we can basically say whatever the hell we want because everything goes. That's people all we're going to say still figure out. Well, I always <laughs> say that, but, like, you know, it doesn't matter if what's expected of me. But, you know, it's just, like, people are still figuring out how exactly to play this game mode. Yep. So it's, yep. it's bri brand new territory. Everybody's still figuring out, like, what are the bands? What are the picks? What's the strong champion? What's the strongest champion? That sort of thing. And how to play it. Of course, there's common sense, you know, like, fight under the tower. Oh, I don't know. Really? I don't know. That's common sense I don't know to us, about that. Doesn't seem to be common well, sense. Well, uh, yeah, I know? guess when I'm doing solo queue, I'm just like, dear God, stop fighting in the forest, you yeah. idiots. Yeah, exactly. But... Hopefully we won't see too much of that this tournament. All right, so to counter that, we had a Cali band. Cali, of course, Ninja, Shroud, lots of stacking of gun blades, and you're good to go. So we're going to have her band. Jax, good solo character, likes to take care of himself. And AP Shaco is such a bothersome, annoying jerk face in this game. Jerk. So <laughs> we're not going to be seeing him. Gangplank and Katarina. Katarina. Interesting choice there with the Katarina pick. Why? 
Have you seen her ultimate? <laughs> of course I've seen her <laughs> ultimate. I played Katarina quite a bit. But Three people come to my tower. I just ult them. Yeah, okay, her, cool. You can use a great defense as far as tower is concerned, but still, I don't think... I think you could take out... Um, oh, that's bad. I'm already forgetting uh, champion's I, names. Heimerdinger? No, no, no. This one Kogma? Here. Yeah, Kogma. Kogma, I think, is much more annoying than Katarina as far as, like, as, far really? as like... Tower defense is concerned. If you go AP to Kogma, you, can, you Kogma, can hold yeah. that thing forever. I know, and man. And just snipe people. You know, if they're trying to defend their tower, you hide out in that bush. You're just sniping them all day long. There's nothing they can do about it. I had an AP Kogma, Kogma yesterday. Hit. He thought he could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me. The only problem is every time we do, I kill him, and then he kills me because he blows up yeah, in my exactly. face. Yeah, exactly. That too. The last-ditch effort. <laughs> it's like, he, that happened seven times that game. We're just like, okay, well, this is obviously Norm now. He's got a <laughs> snare as well, man. So he can just consistently stop you from capping your towers and just yep. keep on top of you or Plus away like from artillery. you the entire time. He is. Yeah. He is, I mean, he should be standard as far Good. as he's concerned. Now, with all those bans, we did leave Heimerdinger in the pool, and Enders is the guy to pick him up. Got the first pick, and Heimerdinger is a really bloody annoying defender. That he is. He, just put a turret on each base, and, ta and it counts as hero damage. Mm -hmm. It's so annoying. It's, Get a it's war mob on him, throw up your turrets, kill all the mobs, and you just stack your health. It just rises exponentially. Yeah. It's stupid hard. He it's stupid is an annoying. excellent defensive. I mean, well, it's the same thing. You know, it's just like, okay, Heimerdinger, great at pushing lanes and great at just defending. So he's a natural choice when it comes to Dominion. Get him on, like, the windmill at the top, you know, a really clutch point. Set him up there, allow him to throw a couple tower, uh, turrets down, and he is just going to be entrenched. Now we are going to have Teemo and Master Yi. I haven't exactly seen Master Yi dominate in Dominion, but I guess these guys got a plan under their belt. Movement speed, boost, Teemo, buff perhaps, you know, meaning to get around the map. Yeah, the, the lack of CC that you can throw on him. Yeah. It refreshes if you can get that kill. And, you know, but heroes do feel a lot more powerful in Dominion because you don't have that ramp up time. It's just you're good to go from you're, the outside. Yeah, you're real. If they throw you in there, they mean for it to be a fast, quick paced game. Yeah, and you know, increased uh, gold, increased experience, and have fun. No regen though, or very little, like the nerf no, the, regen. Well, there's the there's a lot of mana regen. If you look at the buff, like everyone has armor pen, everyone has mana regen. Everyone yeah. gets global experience, even if you're dead. But that's true too. Yeah, it's fun stuff. It's fun. They just want to make it fast paced and fun to get into. Now we also got a Teemo. Teemo's kind of more situational in my mm -hmm. opinion. Okay. I've seen Teemo's rock face and I've seen Teemo suck ass. Like it really depends on the who you're going <laughs> up against to see if he can actually be any good. I'm wondering if the people have seen that guide that's been making its way around on Reddit, I think, and uh, elsewhere where it's just like this is how you play Dominion. Oh, and yeah, then at the yeah. bottom yeah. it's just like <laughs> and for all you Teemo haters out there, <laughs> eat shit. You know, it's like guy holding. I've seen that. Yeah, glass. I got that on a Reddit. Teemo face. Yeah. yeah. Now, it does look like blue team running with a Pantheon Malphite, so a little bit tankiness there, but Mal Pantheon can jump across pretty much the entire map. His uh, he can have a blast. has a huge range. That's the thing, TF2. I would love to see that because these guys could just counter cap all day long if they had both of those ultimates working for them. And the counters of those Going was, rise, there's though. that Kogma you wanted. There's the Kogma the and Singed as well. And Singed you know, is something the boss. to note. Something to note. This is the Ribbon Patch, so yep. he has not been nerfed yet. Nope. He has not. He is going to be a beast. Cassiope as well for the last pick there. Are you saying that right? Well, I don't know. Singe in this, I haven't seen him do overwhelmingly awesome. I mean, he tanks up pretty nicely, yeah. but at the same point, he's really more of a defender rather than a, exactly. an offender. Exactly, but you know, you have him to just hold a point. Like, I'm thinking you but want to hold those with that mentality. Like mid it's all pub well, mentality. Course, like, go kill well, things pub mentality. Well, we're hoping like, we're going to oh. see, like, tournament play yeah, here where they're actually intelligent. Play. They're going to pay attention and, like, have a strategy that they try and work with. But all right, so the last pick there was Cassiopeia, so, you know, very nice AP. Is it Cassi Cassiopeia or is it Cassiopeia? <laughs> I call it Cassiopeia. I, I'm Cass convinced it's... Cassiopeia. I mean, yeah, just I'm like the constellation. I am just like the constellation. This is Cassiopeia, but whatever. Cassiopeia? Is that how... Uh, yeah. That's the other way to say it, yeah. I guess it depends on where you're from. Uh, anyways, to finish this up, they're going to have We're gonna a pretty go to nice Google AP like. team. That's a pretty nice yeah. AP team on purple. What do we have to um, do? Now, we do got Rise picked up here for blue to go with them and Twitch. So, stealth character. Stealth character, he is dirty as hell if you get... Um, Spray and play, man. Yeah, exactly. Just go through everyone, hit everyone, massive Spray range, expunge that poison. It's good stuff. Well, that for killing, but also for just holding points. He can be pretty dirty with that because he can hit you so, from so far away. If he wants to push a point, he can hit you out of tower range with that. Uh, we're going to go to Webster's Dictionary and get a vocal, you know, like how do you, how do you pronounce Cassiope? <laughs> Cassiopeia. No. My father's an astronomer. No. <laughs> Been saying it all his life. No. I'm say I got into way. this last night with Suns fan. Myrmidon, Myrmidon. I'm gonna tweet that is. we're going live. Oh yeah, go ahead. You're, you've got the social uh, social media going. I can't show everybody. Uh, I'm not sure anybody would want to see my Twitter account, anyways. By the way, follow us on Twitter. You guys, if you're not following Four Court Jester, I don't know what you're doing because he is the boss League of Legends commentator. And my name is Similar the Riot at Similar the Riot. So if you guys are enjoying what you're seeing so far, go ahead and hit those follow buttons. Go ahead and hit those. Uh, 
Twitch, whatever, twitch.tv, follow buttons as well, because we are doing quite a bit of streams lately. And we'll be doing more of this in the future, hopefully. Go tweets! Go tweets! And yeah, we're going to get this going in about uh, 17 seconds here, guys. We can't see the summoner skills until, you know, we're go until we get actually into the game. But, I mean, it's probably going to be very similar stuff to Ghost plus, like, Ignite or Ghost plus Exhaust mm -hmm. or the Garrison or Promote. Those seem yeah. to be the big ones. And we can't see them yet. Like, we don't need clarity. We don't need clairvoyance. Uh, a lot of people don't like flash because ghosting can, you know, it's a lot exactly. longer. Get you to that point a lot quicker, especially for things like Ramus. So there we go. Ghost, ghost. We uh, did get, why did, why ghost? did ye not go ghost? Ghost, ghost. A lot of ghosts. Exhaust coming out. There's the old Ignites. You we do have a clarity on scores on Kogma. That's interesting. That's, that's a little bit weird. But we got both Promote and Garrison here for Heimerdinger. So I have to wonder if he's going to be running that uh, Warmogs kind of build. Because mm -hmm. what you do is you promote your super creep, and then you go bashes everyone, and you get the kills for it. So that your, your Warmogs keep going up. Plus you get oh, the money, which is cool. And, yeah, I mean, Garrison, very nice, uh, both offensive and defensive spell. Either reduce all your damage from your turret or renew our turret so you can't cap it. Oh. <coughs> That yeah. is a sexy spell. It looks like these guys are looking for a very mobile and defense-oriented uh, So we do. It does look like we've got about 30-second delay running. Uh, you see the delay now ticking down, so they are going to be joining us you know, with a 30-second delay. We've got about another 15 seconds there on Twitch TV, so it's about a 45-second delay or so. That should be fine because we don't care about wards. We don't care about respawns. Everyone is just going to enjoy the game, and here we go. Game number one of Dominion here at Devastation with Semler the Riot and Four Court Jester hosted by Beyond Gaming. Get hype. Get hype. I love this. We got the cog ball oh, with the reindeer. He's so cute. Holy Look at that crap. Nose, Look at that sim skin. And the sim skin as well, dude. That is just a beast. He looks friggin' retarded. I mean, he reminds <laughs> me of, like, I, I don't know, dude. I, like, Breaking Bad style. You know, this guy's, like, doing something illegal. He reminds me of, um, what was that musical with Doctors that NPH was in? Doctor Horrible. Oh, Doctor Horrible, yeah. I don't know why I get reminded, but it reminds me of Doctor Horrible. Medieval Twitch going on, and what, I don't know what that rise is. That the Professor Rise? No, that's that Zombie Rise. Dead Zombie or yeah, Human no. Rise. That is Human Rise. That is not Dead Zombie Rise. Or Triumphant Rise. Dead Zombie Rise is the one I wanted so bad, and I finally got the uh, RP for it. And You're it into the game, and I'm not. WTF. What? You're in the game. Okay, cool. I'm just I'm, I'm like commentator so number one, caster number one. The ghost Here's things the on my stream thing. naturally Hit I look faster. <laughs> Hit enter. Okay. And now you can move the chat out of the way. Bam! Please get like a boss. Like a boss. So yeah, as you can see, we do got the tournament client interface going on. Everything is already delayed, so if you hear screaming behind us, expect something to come out of it. But yeah, we do got everything here. It's looking pretty sexy. 500, 500. Game will be starting in about 45 seconds. And uh, just off the bat. Items, you see a lot of boots go down, but we do not have any kind of boots on Heimerdinger, but expectantly he is going to be going bottom, going to be trying to cap that one point, start farming up those minions, but we also don't have any boots on Pantheon. He went with a Brutalizer straight out of the bat. This is a very interesting spec client. I actually have not used this yet, so... <laughs> All right, well, you keep fiddling with it. I'll keep going on. We got two Sapphire Crystals coming out here for Rise with those boots of speed. So he's really trying to get that nuking power up early for the level one fight. Other than that, everyone else, pretty standard. Go with the boots. Twitch has the boots of mobility. So he's going to be moting on out here, and the game has begun. It does look like Cassiopeia and, both, and Kogma is going to be coming down here. So it's going to be a 2-3 split. Going to be th sending three up top. Uh, and only two bot, but we are going to be sending four here from team number one, team blue. I'm going to call them blue and purple. Let's go with that. So Malphite is the first one to reach, but we do got Master Yi in here as well. Master Yi already has the tier two boots with the Vamp Scepter. Lots of damage going down on him. He is going to have to flash on out of that. You do not want to be capping or chasing. You want to be capping. That's what no, Triss is going to be exactly doing there. But that is going to be a first kill. Rise picking up a Teemo. And here's the big offensive pressure with the 3-2 split coming in on the bottom. It is going to be a Thomas and Kogba. They're going to be trying to take out this Heimerdinger, but they have given up top. That's the risk of sending two bottom. Yeah, two bottom. I, I'm not a big fan of this strategy because, look, Heimerdinger is getting in a position where his turrets are going to be very difficult to deal with. As so long as he keeps dropping those and he stays under the tower, he should be pretty safe. Uh, he shouldn't have put it in the poison, that's for sure. Oh, that's a little bit of a snafu on his part. But, yeah, but look at Purple. I mean, they've lost... Four, Four points, points now. so far. Yeah, they're falling behind very quickly here. Yeah, big early advantage coming out here for Team 1, Team Blue. And yeah, the two down here have not been able to put up any kind of pressure against 
this Heimerdinger, and that is exactly the reason why you go that Heimerdinger. He's a huge defensive hero, not the best on pushing, but between blinds and turrets, it's very hard to actually push this. It does look like minions are about to cap it for them, so that, I mean, job done, but at the point, man, is just going to get recapped, and they're still struggling with this very strong top as, you know, Team 2 still only has their initial bottom point. Yes, and just keeping an eye here. So it looks like Ryze is actually doing better than I expected. He is able to keep some pressure going, but oh, Twitch is going to get caught between the three of them. Does he get his invis off? He gets it off in the nick of time. He will make his way out of there. And hopping down bot, it just looks like Cog is going to be trying to pressure and harass uh, Heimerdinger and the Pantheon. I'm wondering if Pantheon is just waiting for his six. He does have his level six, so he should be able to ult up top to help them at all oh, if they Twitch. need to get uh, some defense going on the right point. Twitch is too good, man. He took out that cog. My lots of death going over oh, at wow, this point as well. We got the exhaust going down. Malphite not really bringing that damage, but Ryze is going to be able to put one down into Yi. He is down for the count, and now we're going for the five cap. Heimerdinger uncontested at this point. Might be able to pick this up. Timo's trying to run his little legs on over here, but I don't think he's actually going to make it. Bam! Oh, he got it! And now Panth, does Panth still have his ultimate? He didn't even kill. Heimerdinger, 28 hit points. Okay, does Panth have his ultimate? We can't see his abilities? Hmm? You can click on him. There you go. His ultimate is the fourth one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just making sure here. This is a little odd. Yeah, now he still has his Grand Skyfall, but he's playing yes, he playing does. around too much right now with Singe. Singe trying to be a little bit uh, you know, annoying, but it does look like Purple is going to rebound a little bit, get their initial two points, and now it is going to be a fight for that third because they have lost a lot of points at this time. It is... 481 to and 320, look and it's looking good for right now for Team Blue. Twitch is on far right. Ninja capping, and that's what we love to see out of Twitch. No, you can get in there, and nobody will know you're there until it's too late. He's already got it about, well, capped pretty much, unless Singe can make Bam. his way back here. Get the interrupt. He will not make it, and Panth is going to shut him down. 2v3 here on the right for the purple team, and it looks like Timo is able to push back Twitch. But I don't think it's going to be enough to be able to get this point back under the control. Sure, you pushed back one, but he had three friends with him. Yeah, and Heimer is down bot. He's having the time of his life enjoying himself with Yi here. Yi just trying to... Get, he's doing a great job. This is what Heimer does. You cap, you kite as best you can and let your turrets do Come all on, the wrench. work. Yeah, wrenches. There we go. Those wrenches are so annoying, man. Like, it's his auto attack, but they always seem to get right into the right position. Now, we do got Garrison going down oh. from Singe. He's trying to keep this turret alive. Or maybe that was an offensive Garrison because, yeah, that didn't work. Well. So that was definitely an offensive Garrison. And now they are about to lose their fifth point yet again. Singed almost powerless up against this combo. And, you know, check it out. This Rise is still in and around this point defending it against three people. That's all you have to do. I love this. Brilliant play coming out of Rise. Just make them take their time about getting into it. Try and buy as much time for your team to get there and to support you as we have here. You know, there we go. They are able to cap it only because there were like four of them there. But Malphite, you know, had he been a little bit earlier, he probably could have gotten some more time as well for Panth. Does yeah. he have his ultimate? I'm he trying to check yeah, here. He did. he did have his Skyfall. He could have easily just jumped in. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not, uh, you know, I'd love to see more Skyfalling out of this Pantheon. It feels like he's holding on to it for the right moment, but to be honest, you could really make more use of it if you just use it and then... <laughs> Run your ass over there. Now, at this point, it's six minutes in, but in danger of actually finishing the game without doing any item analysis. Check out that Rise double catalyst. And, you know, you do gain items pretty decently here. You're watching that Malphite up there. Here comes the Skyfall with and that's what I'm talking the about. counters. No, there's just Boom. the one Skyfall. Bam, doomed. Lots of death going oh, down. Oh, the flash for the Yi, and that's why he took it. Malphite is almost with that Sunfire at this point as Kogma goes down. And this Teemo probably about to join him. He's putting down that little uh, satellite. But look at Good read by Enders. Just look right by it. And, oh, does that. he have a flash ready? No, he does not. So he's, uh, he doesn't have a flash anyways. Uh, but other than that, like we got a Catalyst on Heimerdinger as well. Heimer defending that t bottom point. We got 125 Nexus health. So maybe item analysis really we don't care at this point. Uh, Twitch is going to take a double kill before he goes down. Beautiful play by him. And, uh, yeah, it does look like Bathia is about to gap this fifth point yet again as Ryze is running interference on top of this Yi. Yi can't get in there without Alpha Strike. God, this was a seven-minute game. And look at this, man. <laughs> Heimer down bot the business, handling it because he's got two turrets at their doorstep, just holding them in there, buying time. They can't even get out to push their own towers back. This is disgusting. Another five cap. And to be honest, they... At this point, you know, well, it's basically it's over. over. Yeah. It's over. There's no way they can make it's it. They're this five point. capped. It's 470 to 40. The game is well done. The people have actually gotten up out of their seats. I just checked. <laughs>
Yeah, they're... Cassiopeia melts down there. Kogma trying to take a kill here onto Heimerdinger. He Business will land will it. Drop. But, uh, you know, too little, too late. He goes down. Singe, unfortunately, the poison really not doing too much in effect. A Kogma even blowing up people there. Nothing. And that is how you do it, man. That's insane, man. I was, was not like, expecting to see a five cap in the first match of the day. Seven minute game. Sup, son. That's insane. Beautiful plays. Beautiful, Beautiful plays. plays. And, a, you know, great team picks. So great was, control. And that, that was Team API that uh, got knocked out by Way Bigger. Yeah, Way Bigger. Way uh, Bigger's dude, Way Living bigger. up to their name. <laughs> I was about to say. Those guys, man. Not letting us down. Now and you can take a look at uh, you know, the, the stats here. A 7-1 for Rise, 7-1 for Twitch. 4-0-10 for Malphite. In fact, Malvite has the most, he was involved in everything. 4 0 10, 14, he has the mm -hmm. best score here on the map. But 680 points from Twitch carrying his team. He had a Priscilla's blessing by the end of it. Plus 15% capture rate. He just walks up there in stealth, captures. Yeah, no, that's, that's <laughs> a well played Twitch. You don't go, I mean, he was getting the engagements. I mean, 7 1 1. Awesome job by him, but he has the most as far as total score is concerned. You know, getting the points and defending them, that is Twitch's forte, and that's what he needs to be doing to win these matches, and they just did a beautiful job. Heimerdinger completely owned bottom lane. That is, there's no contest there. All they right. could never push up into his place.